Hey everyone, it's been a while since we've done a stream. Um, we've kind of been working on a lot of stuff. Zach's got something to show off, and uh, I just wanted to say uh, we're so happy that we got funded. Um, I, it's really hard to put it in text, and it's really hard to write down all the emotions that we have been feeling these past couple days, but um, it's been incredible. All uh, the emotions. Yeah, all the emotions. <laughs> um, we're uh, working pretty hard on getting ourselves situated on Steam. Um, we're still going through a lot of paperwork with all that stuff. Um, that could not happen fast enough. I know, I want it to happen faster. Once, uh, once we get on Steam, you know, we'll email all the backers about the new alpha that we're going to have out for that, too. And so that'd be pretty cool. So we've been working on that. Um, Zach's also been working on something cool that he's going to show off soon when he's ready. Oh my god. It's, it's almost, like, it's almost ready. It's oh, really? Like, in in the thingamajig ready? <coughs> I was in the corner, buddy, so... I'll be coughing a lot. Yeah, Zach, Zach's been having a cold for the past couple of days, which kind of sucks. Oh <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just trying to get this last little bit done. Yeah. And then, um, Stefan's been working on, you know, still doing a lot of the plaza artwork. Um, we've been going through all the bug reports that you guys, you guys have been submitting for the alpha, and it's been really cool. Um, we got a lot of bugs, but it's it's all gonna be fixed soon. Um, I know a lot of the issues with like the settings and stuff that will come later, but uh, collision bugs and stuff I'm gonna be going through with the plaza pretty soon, actually. Um, but yeah, for the most part, we've just been setting up everything. Uh, we've been extremely happy about everything, and being green light, green lit, and funded is just it's just crazy. Um, we'll go ahead and, are you, when are you going to be ready, Zach, and like? Probably not for another 10, 15 minutes, so. Oh, I'll start geez. the timer. Yeah. I'm really, really? sorry, it, it, <laughs> there's a lot of pieces that need to fall into place. Hey, no, no pressure, just, you know, I'm the entire. switch to my screen then, I guess. The stream, no pressure. You start showing off cool stuff. Where is my monitor? Oh, there it is. Where is my mind? The the thing that's almost ready is the secret, so you'll you'll see it a bit when it's ready. We've already Excuse we've already updated to the latest Unreal version. Oh, I didn't. I did. I ran out of space on my hard drive. <laughs> wow. I have three gigabytes left. I don't have enough to update. I already updated, so it's already. It's mostly just like crash fixes, so we we Gucci. Oh yeah. And I've been investigating a bunch of other cool features. Um, what did Stefan do? He said he said he did some stuff with the plaza. He did collision fixes. Oh yeah, that's right. A lot yep. of collision fixes. Lots of collision fixes. Oh, so we many. actually we actually got finally got plants and stuff again. Again. So was, again. Wait, were they gone for the alpha? Yeah, they were gone in the alpha. Damn, because they look nice. Okay. Yeah. They look so nice. Oh, well, they're back. Finally. It says, it says game, it's not game. So, um... One thing uh, someone mentioned to me that I should uh, talk about is we had a poll back in June. God, it's been so long. That we never really answered what the results were for that. Um, the poll was... And I'll just pop it up on the screen here. Right. The poll was asking about the boardwalk stuff, and since we had um, all the gems that we passed, and we've got another uh, milestone, um, or stretch goal, sorry, that is coming up for the boardwalk, it's an ocean expansion, so I, I won't be able to go into what our plans are for that until it happens, because we don't want to promise anything that we, we can't deliver on. But for the boardwalk attractions that we're doing, uh, we've got, you know, laser tag has been confirmed and we've 
uh, got bumper cars as well. So all these buildings that are here, that is, like, they're very much placeholders. So we're going to be changing all the boardwalk to have all the attractions fit in here. And so we're working on that. You know, we we started working on the bowling, um, and you know, it's it's not fully done yet. So I mean, don't worry about it. It's going to look really nice. Um, but we'll have the bumper cars here. And we'll have uh, the laser tag here is a big building. And then um, we're working on the arcade as well, the interior and the exterior is getting a little bit more fix-ups. So as you can like, see here, this is a really nice uh, trim we're working on and we're just kind of, we're going to go through all of this stuff, all the art assets, like all over again. It's going to be great. Um, so that's kind of what we're planning for the boardwalk. So our, on the poll, we asked people uh, if they'd be interested in food related items and shops and we had almost 80 percent 79 percent said yes to that Ooh. so we'll probably have some food shops coming up because we have cooking now as well so we'll have stores in this boardwalk area because this is a really good area for us to expand on because we can just keep expanding outwards because we got this big huge ocean so we'll probably put some um nice food shops there so that's the result of that um, this building here that has been work in progress for a while, we're actually going to make this the clothing store. Um, so that's going to be completely changed and it'll look completely different too. And then we're going to move this clothing store. Um, it's going to change too. Like this isn't going to be here anymore. It's going to be over here in the bigger building because we're going to have more clothing and more accessories. And then this store will eventually change over to be something um, kind of more about uh, like the canvases, you know, little doodads that you can put down, um, you know, kind of weird items and stuff like that to decorate your condo and then also kind of mess around. The toy stop is going to be the same as Tower, you know, lots of toys and stuff, but we're going to change a lot of the interiors of this stuff. So everything you've seen in Alpha, you know, everything's just going to get better from now on. It's because now we can actually uh, start working on that. It's pretty exciting. Yay! Rip. Rip. My mega died. Anyways, I, I, what I said was that, you know, now that we got funding, which is really cool, we're going to go through, we're going to redo all this stuff, we're going to make it look better, and uh, expand upon it. Uh, same with the, the uh, pool as well. Uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff that we want to change up here, because, you know. Um... In terms of other stuff, like, uh, let's see what else was on that poll. Obviously, we're going to have the roller coaster because we reached that. So that's going to fit in here somewhere. Yay. I'm probably going to go for something that's like a, a mix of like Paradise Pier and uh, if, if, if you've ever been to Disneyland, we're kind of going for something styled like that. Um, Bumper cars definitely is happening, bowling's happening, shooting galleries happening, photo booth's not probably going to happen, and swinging ship's probably not going to happen, so those are kind of our decisions on those. If they do happen, they might be in a later release. It depends on if we feel like they're like actually something worthwhile. I think the swinging ship was kind of just kind of a one-off ride, and we don't want to do anything like that. We want to kind of do a lot of interactive stuff. Um, let's see. And the theme question we asked was kind of something that we just wanted to know what people felt. Um, most people chose modern. Um, we're probably going to do a mix of things, actually, because, you know, we kind of go in for this whole, like, mixture of different styles. And so the boardwalk will probably have that same kind of feel. So that was it for that poll. Um, I know it was kind of long winded, but I wanted to explain everything we're thinking of. Uh, we have another poll that we launched um, three days ago. If you guys want to check that out, it we're kind of asking people what what game worlds you guys want us to make first, because we're gonna have confirmed four game worlds um, right now at least. Um, so this poll asks, and I'll post it here real quick. This poll asks you guys what one you're interested in most. We also ask what gem you're interested in, and that's also going to kind of factor in which one we're going to work on first. And uh, 
when we have streams, we'll show off the one that you guys are mostly interested in as much as we can. So we're working towards like a goal that you know you guys are really interested in first, and then we'll work on the rest uh, later in development. So you can see the ones that you want happening. Uh, same with uh, there was another question on that poll. We were asking what feature in in current Gmod Tower that you want to happen in Tower Unite. That's also kind of like a you know which one do you want us to make first type of thing. Uh, so that we can kind of like plan our our uh, schedule out. And go ahead and fix that. So, other than that stuff, um, we've been doing really well on Indiegogo. Still, I mean, we've reached 56k and 200 dollars, and it's kind of crazy. Um, and we're, we're really going to crazy. It's it's insane. I, I don't I I can't and sometimes I I don't know how to word it honestly. Considering the last time we only got 37k in yeah. double the <laughs> amount of time. So yeah, it's it's been really crazy. Um I mean to put it bluntly, um these past couple days for us have been like unlike any other. Um, and we've been doing, I mean, we got, I mean, just the fact that we got really high on green light that quickly was insane to watch. And, you know, we cannot thank you guys enough for that. Um, and... Zach, I bought you a lot of time. Are you almost ready? I'm not. It's, you need more time? Be... <laughs> I do need more time, honestly. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, do some Q&A, I guess, while I, while I get this, this thing going. Well, I can load up and talk about some soundscape stuff if we can. Ooh! Ooh! Soundscapes! Someone say soundscapes. Hold on! Because <laughs> we've been working, <laughs> we've been working on Will and Fui, Scott, um, have been right, working so, on it. Actually, I don't know how you could show off soundscapes, because it's sound. I know. Eh. I, I can boot it up and kind of turn it down. Hold on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, turn on and off the flashlight in the train station. It sounds amazing. All right. I'm just going to try to make sure I don't, you know, break through your drums. Uh, it seems yeah, okay. Anyways, um, me and Will have been cooperatively working on some soundscapes. I made him a nice soundscape system. Um, some real cool features there. You know, got you got your classic. You can make soundscape definitions that has, like, a whole list of sounds to play. Um, optionally, they could be spatialized, like when you turn your head, uh, it sounds like you're turning your head, but it's still, like, you're in the whole sound stage. So that's really nice. Um, I just realized that Unreal has a built-in plugin for Oculus's audio library, which adds HRTF sounds, uh, sound spatialization. So what that means is when something's like on the right of you, built in an Unreal, that spatialization is just like, it just pans to the right and it's real sad. HRTF means it actually takes into account um, the distance from your head and like the, the actual coming through your head and all that crazy stuff. So it sounds a like it actually sounds like it's right on the other side of your head and you can actually pinpoint it if you have your eyes closed and everything. It's a really, really cool effect. Uh, yeah, so we got that enabled. Um, still, still kind of getting everything in the map. Still, map. Uh, Will's making some cool soundscapes. He's recording them himself, and it's really nice. Mac. Yep. Uh, there's there's no audio. There's no audio. There, there's. Oh, wait, no. Oh, there could be. I actually. No, have there's the audio. Muted. I have yeah. the stream muted. Never mind. Don't worry. I'm gonna make sure. Never mind. <laughs> and. Um, my microphone. I don't know why OBS constantly steals my microphone. Um, I mean, if you're not familiar with with uh, soundscape stuff, it's just we're gonna have really crazy surround sound stuff. Cause I've been messing around. I, I got uh, an Oculus finally, and I'm messing with the VR stuff as well. And that's also one of the vote, uh, one of the things in the survey too. I want to know how important it is that we ship with VR, like first thing. But 
Uh, I know it's something that we're going to do, but I'm not sure if we should ship first. Uh, like, we're probably going to focus a lot on the game worlds, because game worlds are like the blood line of tower. But we've been messing around with VR stuff, trying to make it feel right. I know I had to redo a lot of the menus too, to fit VR, so that's going to be fun. So that's pretty cool, the sounds are really awesome. And Will's been doing a really good job with recording them and putting them in, and Fooey's been doing a great job with coding. Yeah, and then I added a... Uh, actually, I re-added a feature that was in Unreal 3 called uh, Ambient Sound Spline, where basically you can just define a spline in three dimensions, and it, it acts like the sound is coming from that whole spline itself instead of just like a point. So that was removed in Unreal 4, and I recoded it and re-added it myself. So that's there too. I don't think he's using it anywhere because I like just made it, but uh, it's really useful if you want to make sound come like from a long river. So like you're walking down a river, and it always sounds like the, there's a sound coming from the river um, along a beach, which we could probably use that for. You know, we got a we got one of those. Uh, and you know wherever wherever else you want to have a string of sound, it's pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna be using a lot of the soundscape stuff for game worlds too, because like I know for like virus, I really want to go for a really you know atmospheric feel, so sound is really crucial to that, especially on the the horror game that we're gonna make eventually. That is really important. Sound is super important. And it's so it's overlooked a lot of times too. So I'm glad uh, that I could be working on it. I, lo I love working on sound. Very fun. Seriously, like all of my projects are sound based. I have no idea why. I just loaded up my condo and it's got Will's face right there. <laughs> Freaking my condo is a mess right now. Just a mess of stuff. Oh, yeah. So that's something I can show because I actually have it right here. We're gonna do frames for canvases as well. So that's right here, kind of work in progress there. You ever hook that up? Not yet. I'm gonna we'll be hooking up it up ready. soon. Um, yeah, they're they're ready to go. I'm also gonna do like posters as well, like a poster frame that will kind of like have this like poster paper effect over top of your pictures, because I, I think canvases are really cool. So we're gonna keep pushing that. They are abused already, but you know what? Go at it. <laughs> Not abused? I mean used. This is well, what I want. What? I mean, whenever you get something that lets you load images from the internet, you know, it's a, you're, a, you're playing with a slippery slope. Everyone loads up fish images. That's what I do. I mean, and dogs. Fish? Yeah, I have a fish on fi mine. Fish. A, a fish. Fish images. A fishy. So the first thing they think, wow, I can, of all the images on the internet, I'm going <laughs> to... Fish. Yep. Huh. Huh. Okay. Fish. That's perfect. Speaking of fish, people have been asking about how the fish will work as pets. Um, Very carefully. <laughs> what? Thanks. Um, Confirmed. I'm gonna have aquariums. I'm gonna make an aquarium that you can put the fish in and stuff. And uh, someone talked about how silly it would be to have the fish walk around with you because we mentioned that pets. Oh, what eventually... if they like they like bounce up and down like flap <laughs> like they're out of water? <laughs> that would be pretty cool. That would be funny. <laughs> I, I've heard someone just like uh, having like the fishbowl kind of like roll around with you. Oh, like a like a, a hamster like the, ball, but it's a fishbowl. Yeah, kind of like the melon pet that we had yeah. in the car. Yeah, pretty cool. I still That's do want to. I still want to probably re uh, bring back that melon pet though. Well, it's a classic. We gotta make an HD melon though. It's gonna be beautiful. Oh, no, you just gotta take over the same melon. That's part of the the. No, no. The nostalgia. Is just that source melon that mm. everyone uses. It's gonna be beautiful. And if it's and not, one sound if it's not beautiful, it, I'm like... gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete it until it's beautiful and recreate it. It's beautiful how it is, Matt. Can't you see the beauty and impurity? No. Do we want to talk about this condo stuff yet, or no? Because, I mean, we <laughs> can start talking about some ideas we're thinking for the building of it. Or do you want to hold off? I mean, it's still all, like, super work of progress. Yeah. 
Maybe not. Maybe next stream. Maybe because next stream. We're, we've been debating uh, recently. Oh, my nice. stream. We've been we've been debating recently about the condo building stuff. Like we did a poll on it and everything, and, and we're trying to figure out the best way that's user friendly and like um, powerful at the same time, but also doable because um, it's gonna be pretty it's gonna be pretty difficult but awesome at the same time. It's gotta but be powerful. Something that like we have to focus on with with tower is kind of like uh, kind of reeling things back a little bit in terms of. Uh, what we're gonna release because we've got we've got about seven yes. months we have so much on our plate <laughs> um one thing one thing i'm gonna be doing and life is kind of working on as well is like we're gonna be focusing on a lot of the game world stuff too um so we're gonna be kind of switching gears from the condo and the plaza and heading over yep. to the game worlds and start making the games and then we'll come back to the condo so we're thinking and debating over all of this stuff right now so that we can and i've been like steadily doing game fixes to existing game rules too. Yeah, uh, like the networking fixes we're going to look into as well. Yeah. I so. I did, I'll have you know, I did fix the whole ball race turns to a complete pile of trash after 20 minutes. I fixed that. <laughs> that is fixed. And it was my fault. My bad. Yeah, let go. Hey man, it worked. It just worked too well. The, I guess since we, I mean we, I can talk about the gems too a little bit, and like kind of break down our plans for all of them. But um, it'd be a long, long stream, I think. Um, I, I just want to mention that I think this is the most people we've ever had on a live stream. Oh really? Whoa, yeah. one oh seven right now. One oh seven. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> right. That's a lot of people. <laughs> that is. I think it's because the Indiegogo got funded. I don't know. Oh, yeah. No. No, no. <laughs> what, what am I thinking? You're crazy. <laughs> crazy fooey. No yeah. con la cabeza. Con queso en mis pantalones. I apologize if these, like, if these shrinks are not, not incredibly I'm 100% serious 100% of the time, all right? You need to step up your act, bucko. Oh, thanks. Um, I don't know what this is. Zach, are you almost ready? I'm, you know, I'm writing frame buffer shit. It's, Ooh. it's. It takes some time, right? <laughs> well, I guess and I'll you do know where there's frame though. buffers involved? It's gonna be sweet. I will go ahead and start... I'll go ahead and start asking questions, or uh, answering questions you guys have, if you have any. Um, especially if you have any questions over, like, the gems and what we plan to do with that. I'll, I'll, I can answer those. So I'll go ahead and open up questions. So hold on. Let me just switch gears here. Oh, someone was asking why a ball race became complete trash after 20 minutes. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, so I made some code to reset the map, right? And it was going swell. A little too swell. Whenever you restarted the map, it would respawn all the actors, like the cuboids. It would keep respawning them even if they were already respawned. Yeah, so whenever whenever you died, it just kind of kind of kept spawning them, <laughs> which might be my bad. I, I fixed that no, now. No, it's it's the players' problem because they yeah. shouldn't keep on dying. Exactly. <laughs> if they never died, that issue would never happen. Exactly. <laughs> hey Zach, can you uh, mute your microphone? Sorry. Thanks. Uh, oh. It's going to be Why quiet now. me giant nerds? It's hurting my feelings really bad. Um, there was one question someone asked about uh, the piano, about MIDI support. Uh, we'll probably have that, definitely. You gotta have a piano first. Well, no, I've been working on the piano. And the piano is, is, yeah. Oh. So, Does it work? Yeah. Oh. Plays notes. Oh. It's That's not networked yet. It's not networked yet. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, speaking of the networking of the piano, we're gonna have it like synchronized, like so that 
it plays in order of what you played too. Because uh, one of the issues with Tower was that it just kind of kind of vomits out notes on the other end. So we're gonna try to look oh, into so like fixing delay, that. delay it a little bit so we can kind of keep well, up. Uh, make it so that like it's based off of exactly what you like your your timing was on the right. notes, so that the other people can hear it perfectly. Yeah. So that's definitely. So it kind of has like a little cue of notes and when they should play kind of thing. Yep, and have like timestamps for all that. that. That's a good. That's a good way to do it. Yeah, because. What, what if what if the time was like ten seconds in the past? What do you do? I I guess it's gonna gotta be go bad. back. Yeah. Um, on the piano, like note stuff, I'll probably have something that's a little bit more interactive with the sheet music this time. Because I, I want to do something that's kind of like a, like it shows the notes visually, so that way you can kind of play it easier. You can see the music. Can you actually mm -hmm. like, realistically turn the page? No, not that's not what I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking about like falling notes, like they fall into the uh, okay, the piano. Cool. Yeah, that's something I want to mess around with. All right, I'm done with the typing portion of this, so uh, I could talk again. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I just had to write a whole lot of code really fast, so. You know, no pressure, Zach. It's just hundred percent. <laughs> all all the pressure, dude. All right. You're making or breaking this stream, Zach. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, let's show, let me show them this. I don't think we showed this map a little, like as much as as we did. What map? The mini golf map, because it was kind of really work in oh. progress. Oh, it's so pretty though. It's so pretty. It's so work in progress. You just gotta get the the actual game all all spiffied up. Yeah, we'll get there. I think Minigolf is probably going to be the, the first one, though, because it's the highest one. It's winning in the polls by, like, a lot. Because <laughs> everybody loves Minigolf. Yeah. It's great. I love Minigolf. I really like Minigolf. Especially the characters. Am, to... mm. Am I allowed to say the percentage so far? <laughs> Zero. 32.8% for Minigolf. Mini oh, for Minigolf? Great. Yeah. <laughs> of what? Like, even Borace is sixth, and we actually started working on that first, so... And... I mean, Borace is, like, the classic. I feel like that's, like, the, the classic... Borace is pretty far ahead, though. ...game mode. That's true. That's true. That's true. Borace is very far ahead, so I think I think we're good on Borace. I mean, we'll be able to patch it up and get it going. Hey, Lifeless. Don't. Do you like the mini golf balls? Except for the levels. Obviously, the ball race levels, they still need work. I want to redo this <laughs> stuff a bit. <laughs> Don't do it for me. Maybe it just had more RAM. I think, Mac, we gotta spiff you up Cloud World. Yeah, Cloud World definitely needs it. It was our first one that we made. Well, I mean, it was a test, and then, you know what I think test. we should do? We should, like, hide the other courses in the clouds, so you don't just see them all lined up. That's not natural. Who does that? I don't know. So, you, like, you'd have to, like, you, and then behind the cloud, whoa, there's the next one. Oh, it's over. You know? Yeah. With all the sound effects, too. Good. Uh, Are you a robot in the sky? We went also we're going over uh, speaking of PvP, PvP or uh, Slaughter Day Night Live, we're going over all the weapons we're kind of deciding to really be debating wild. that. There's I I know we'll probably have around ten on release. Ten really good ones at least. Uh, one thing is kind of cool about uh, Slaughter Day Night Live, though, in terms of like if you're a really uh, hardcore FPS player, there's, we're not gonna have reload. Like that's something I'm kind of excited about because I like the whole like FPS games, like that you go and pick up the items. So Slaughter Day Night Live is that's something I've been really thinking about that we should have, like pick up the little items, like weapons, and not like like Quake in a way. You know, tons of weapons that you can keep 
in your inventory, but as soon as you like run out of it, you just toss it to the side and then grab another one. Because like Slaughter Lane and Live, you'll be like pretty much dying every second anyways, because it's so fast paced. That's gonna be really cool. I know. Um, we also have power ups and stuff in that too. So we haven't entirely gone through all of the the kind of like goals we have for all the game worlds just yet, but uh, we will be going over those soon um, as we start like planning out our schedule. And since we finally have you know a budget, we can actually start planning this stuff out and like thinking about what we're gonna do and implement for the the early access. Um, one thing was, um, I'm trying to think, Virus is going to have, like, similar weapons too, from the Juma Tower, like, version, uh, but just refined and balanced overall, so that's going to be really cool to work on, I'm really excited, I'm looking forward to that, because I'm going to... I think Virus, I mean, yeah, we can... Honestly, my, my personal, like, pick for game worlds right now would be like mini golf and virus and the horror game because I'm really excited to work on that horror game and uh, slaughter day night live but that's just me so and that's why we're asking the community about that which ones you guys want to see first as opposed to just doing what I say <laughs> Fui, do you remember the hook on an actor to like end play because I know it's begin play is it begin to it's begin to destroy there it is never mind um, Begin destroy. That's what it is. The Thank clothing you. store. Um, we're kind of gonna go for like this thing where you, like you can walk into the store and like it'll show the clothing on you. So I guess it's very similar to what you've seen in other games that have done it. And you'll be able to buy it, and then you can customize that. Like you'll be able to change to that clothing all the time. Uh, but the clothing will, will work like inventory items as well. So um, they'll just be like equipable inventory items. Radiant's I'm, middle tower just fell rip. I made a dumb mistake. Um. Fui, Nunak is asking about the status of the loot. I, I, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be uploading this uh, to, to um, Twitch and to YouTube as well. Like, in case you guys. I mean, obviously the people that are in here see it, but if your friends couldn't be here, we'll upload this again. Um, I'm just kind of going through all the questions here. Someone asked about anti-cheat. Yeah, anti-cheat is kind of interesting. It's going to be something that we're going to figure out as we do it, honestly. But I, we're going to have, we're going to be using VAC. Um, and I, I, I don't know yet all the details because we we're still kind of going through the paperwork with Valve, so uh, we haven't gotten into that just yet. But uh, I do know we'll have the rank servers, and they'll be protected by VAC. They'll have to be, because you won't be able to earn units unless you're VAC protected. Um, and if you're on a free server, you'll be able to earn units, but it's only to that server. So it won't actually affect their global profile. But uh, that can have no VAC on it. So like if you, you know, you get back banned... You can do some banned, like, crazy engine modifications on a non-VAC <clears throat> server or something, and then... Yeah, so like we'll have a split for people like if you you know if you decide to cheat in the game, you know we we don't we don't tolerate cheating, so you won't be able to play on the official servers, you won't be able to play on the rank servers, so you know that's just how that's gonna be. But you'll still be able to play the game. It'll just be on on you know on rank servers with possibly other cheaters. So um, that's kind of like what we're thinking the split off for that is. Um, I don't think we'll be implementing any other cheat system, but I don't know. That's well, we'll get there when we get there. We'll get there when we get there. It's kind of like it's gonna be after after a bit, a couple months here before we decide all that stuff. Well, the the other thing that uh, rank servers we were talking about, we'll let rank servers have custom items and stuff. It's something uh, Scott and I have been trying to figure out the best way to do it. So mm -hmm. we'll probably have it labeled. Like if it's a if a server is ranked and it has a custom item, 
it'll be like labeled that this is a custom item and you can still purchase it but you will not be able to use it in other servers unless it has it so it'll be yeah. pretty it'll be pretty um we're gonna try to make it as user friendly as possible and then i totally agree <laughs> about having more incentive to host lobbies i've been trying to think of ways to um make people want to host them because i i want to be able to like host a lobby and be like yeah check out my lobby it's got cool things or look how high ranked it is and things like that but uh, we're thinking of ideas to add more incentives to that. Yeah, possibly, you know, um, some sort of ring system, some sort of like, you know. You could do like uh, lobby leaderboards or something. <laughs> like, yeah. oh man, your lobby's number three? No way. Something like something like a trust level would be good too, you know, if you join a server it has a high trust level. And mm. I don't, I'm not entirely sure what what the specifics would be on how to get trust, but I would think something like, you know. Well, when TF2 has that, like, uh, like, if you if you leave a server too quick, its rank goes down, and then that kind of stuff. And then eventually, if it has, like, too low of a ranking, it's not even listed on the master server list anymore. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, there's three questions I'll answer real quick. Um, one was the stretch goals. If, uh, if we don't reach the stretch goals, uh, we're probably not going to focus on those features at all um, until we're totally done with the main game. Like, we're not going to like risk the main game for a stretch goal that we didn't achieve. So if we don't reach that stretch goal, you probably won't see it. And that's just because that's just you know that's what a stretch goal is about. And we have so much to do. <laughs> we already have a lot to do. And when we have a when we have a stretch goal, like we're really careful about like the gems and everything we're really careful about you know can we do it is it possible to fit in before we even decided to to throw it up there um so like the stretch goals are very much the same you know we talk about it can we do this um before we even decide to put it up there but if we don't reach it it's not gonna happen I and mean, it's just how it is um because we'd rather spend more time on the the actual game um, if we don't reach that stretch goal to make it better. Um, and then the other quick questions was Steam Workshop. Yes, we'll have Steam Workshop. I'm not sure yep. on release though, but if we do, we'll have it. It's if we don't, planned. it'll be you know it'll be there shortly soon. after. Yeah. Because we wanna we wanna be very careful about the specifics and make it really user friendly for everyone to put in the content. So that could take some additional dev time. You know. So we'll 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 figure that out as we go. And you know. By the end of the Indiegogo, couple like a, a week later, we should have most things planned well, out. Well, let's not say we well, just got We got to. We'll kind of, kind of, we'll kind of feel it. I mean, I, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk a lot about our our um our schedule, our milestones, and everything. And when we do it, we'll have like a Trello board for people to view and a vote on features and stuff. So that's kind of like what we're planning to show the roadmap on everything. And then we'll have, you know, the streams and... How do you know it died? I hear you talk. I can see when it dies. Um, really? That's weird. Yeah. We'll have we'll have the Trello for our roadmap, and then we'll have, you know, streams that show off everything that we've done for that week as well. So, I mean, that's kind of the way we're going to up, update people on these things. Um, the other question was trading cards... We'll have trading cards. Oh, it's gonna I be want, great. I want trading cards. So we got it. We we can't we'll rush those them. though because we have like a one-time deal with that. Apparently, like you do one set and that's it. That's your game's trading cards forever. Well, probably because I really love community feedback. Like that's my thing. We'll post the trading cards before they are an actual thing, and you guys can vote on which ones you like and which ones you hate. Yeah. Same and with emotes and same with emotes stuff. and backgrounds and all of that good stuff. We'll post, you know, all of our progress on that before it actually happens and cement it. So, unrelatedly, I love that we can make emotes. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of really excited to be on Steam. Like it's it's been a more than long... kind of. Oh my God! I've I always wanted to have a game on Steam. It's, I'm so excited. It's <laughs> it's a big deal to us because, you know, this is what we've been wanting to be able to do for so long so uh, I need yeah. to fix the, that item thing because it takes so long to start in editor for the first time 
Oh, like the uh, running it for the first time, it kind of. Yeah, yeah. So. Is that just I'm because gonna... it caches all the items? Yeah, like, for start. Do that. <laughs> Are you able this to do is... it on editor start? I don't know what you mean like. Like when you actually start the editor, it caches the items as opposed to when you play yeah, in game. It would take forever to start the editor. <laughs> well, I mean, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to press play at some point. Uh. One. Okay. I'm gonna mention this as well. I've been working on the the chat box. I was talking to Pooey about it today. We're gonna start looking into different ways to kind of like enhance this chat box. Um, one thing I'm looking into um, obviously the very first thing is multi-line chat with because we don't have that in alpha so we're going to do that pretty quickly but one thing I'm to. looking into is um, I, I don't want to say it's going to happen because I'm looking into it but um, looking into the possibility of doing like steam emotes or something like emoticons in the chat so that could happen it could not happen but that's something I'm looking into I'm looking into uh, adding emoji support because I feel like that's kind of something that is important to add to chat. So that's also something I'm looking into. And, you know, voice chat we're gonna be doing once we get Steam. Because all that stuff's gonna kind of like fall into place and, you know, the. And the server browser will also fall into place on Steam. Yep. Um. In terms of like uh, customization, because someone mentioned the chat trans transparency, we'll have settings for a lot of the stuff, um, and we'll have settings for like VR and stuff. So we're we're gonna be working on settings over a long period of time, but uh, we'll keep adding stuff as people ask for it. Because I'm a strong believer in having customization and settings in video I games, believe. especially something like this where it's like a virtual world game, you know everyone has different tastes so we'll try to accommodate them to them as much as we can um no we don't start with oh, that's right are we bringing back sprays we should bring back sprays one day maybe i mean i'll probably have to give servers ability to turn them off oh yeah that's true well, we got canvases now, so... I mean, they're basically, like, turbo sprays. Well, gonna... I mean, I mean, there's there's still the whole thing, but... Space the sprays. canvas thing is pretty cool, and you'll probably see a lot of that, like, throughout the game. I'm gonna... We're gonna come up with some really cool really, things really like the canvas. So, I mean, like, even with clothing and stuff, we might have canvas support for some of that stuff, maybe. We're gonna, we're gonna play around with it, see what fits best with the game, and... Obviously, we're gonna have parental controls and filters and stuff, too, if we're gonna ever do any of this stuff, like... So, um, but it is something that we really want to start digging into because we think it's really cool. Um, because we already have YouTube stuff and, you know, we got SoundCloud sharing, you know, image sharing is really nice. So, let's get that too. Um, yeah, someone mentioned if you use a free server, will you be able to change the lobby map? I'm not sure just yet, but there could be a, a possibility for that stuff probably later. Uh, Solid as, maybe. As no, we're no. doing like workshop edition, like it'll be over time as we add more and more stuff to it. So it's like you know, s slowly we'll start adding like you know more than just furniture stuff, and it'll just keep expanding as we as we feel is necessary. Um, so it'll be something that we're gonna explore with workshop. Is like, are you ready, almost? Are you ready? Uh, there's, there's issues, and I'm, I'm trying to look for them. So, give me my time, I guess. <laughs> um, there was someone who was asking a question about the gold watch. That you could turn the furniture into gold. Right. Okay, so with the watch, um, you'll be able to just walk up to a furniture item and just make it gold. Right. So there's there's no real restrictions to that really. Um, you just be able to do it to anything. It's not like permanent or anything either, probably. No, we can make it permanent actually. You, wait, so like you touch it, it's gold, and it's 
You gotta get a new chair. It's gold. Oh man. no, I mean like it'll <laughs> save the the gold. Like oh, you can, okay. you, it's like color. Like it would be like coloring it, so okay. it'll save the color or the gold status on it. I mean, it's it's not it gonna make the price of it higher though, is it? No, it won't change the price of it. Cause but it's solid gold. Cause the 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 watch is it's kind of like it's an accessory <laughs> that no one else will be able to get because it's one, it's really pretty looking. Two. We wanted Make to add it something. Like 10, to it. ten uh, units more expensive when you sell it. It's like so <laughs> small, but you know, it's still there. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're doing yet for trading. Uh, trading is something that we're gonna be debating about a lot. I know that's a feature we're thinking about definitely adding during. Well, I mean, it. We'd be using Steam items. Yeah. So you have trading there already it's really just about interfacing with that yeah we'll be doing steam inventory it's just it's something that uh right now we have we have no idea until we start touching the steam stuff so i don't want to say anything too detailed with that just yet but um i'll keep you posted on that what was the other questions i think i already answered that one right yeah You'll only be able to make uh, items gold that are yours, so I mean, I don't know what yeah, troll can't, for. Can't get too crazy. Like, that'd be so mean. You walk into <laughs> someone else's condo. Ha! Your items are gold now. I don't know if that's mean, Fui. I mean, is it mean? I mean, well, okay. You're all your items are gold. gold. But it's then all their items are gold. <laughs> yeah, it's like. You have this delicious steak in front of you, and now it's gold, and you're just like, yeah, it's gold, but I can't eat the steak anymore. Um, let's see. If if we do the emoticon stuff, um, I'll be making another poll for that probably next week uh, on which emoticon sets that you guys are like looking at that you feel would fit right. I I've seen a few. Like emojis that I kind of like, like the Twitter one or the. I gotta be careful which ones we pick that they're open source though, so I'll be looking into that. With attribution, I believe, and they're commercial free. Or we'll make our own. No, we won't make our own. That would take forever. Implying we can draw emojis. Oh, there's like so I... many emojis. Um. Well, you know, we're gonna have to do that eventually if we want Steam emotes. <clears throat> well, if we do Steam emotes. Steam emotes. Well, yeah, but we have like, how many are we allowed to have? Like ten, or something. I don't know if there's a limit. All I know is you make one set and you're done. You can't add more later. Okay, so we'll have so, to. We'll definitely be posting all of the emotes then. Yeah, so it's, that people it, it's just on. gonna be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, I've gotten requests for a better letter H. So that too. I don't know if I don't why. Apparently, there's no good letter H emotes. So, letter H, just get on it. Yeah, you you won't. To answer that question about the gold watch, you won't be able to get the backer stuff again. I mean, is there, they, we don't want to have like these premium items ever again. It's just, it's it's part of like helping us out and getting us off off the ground and you know get us going. So. You won't probably be able to trade those items either, so they're very exclusive to you. Yeah, that emoji style is something that we're gonna we're gonna talk about. I we'll have to have a poll on which ones people like, so I don't know which one yet. And <laughs> Mitter's asking if you can have roller coasters you can build for me. Oh, I don't know. Probably not right now. It's tough. <laughs> it could it could be something later. I don't know. Not now. Maybe, maybe later. See the good thing the good thing about this this project is that um once we get like all of the base game done and out we can still add on stuff like new items and everything. So and, and that's gonna be really The thing with the roller exciting. coaster is gonna require an editor to fiddle with. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, I think what? we're gonna we're gonna do actual new piano sounds probably. 
And I probably have different piano like um, types as well. It's it's gonna be all up to probably Will though, cause oh, oh, we can make it some sick piano synth pianos. All man was doing. Yeah, we can. It'll be like wow, wow, wow. Just like that. Exactly how it would sound like. <laughs> exactly Those, like that. It's so hard to describe the speed shoes because they're 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 gonna be like um, kind of like a mix of of a lot of things. Like I really want to make them look really cool, like uh, the Flash kind of effect, or like Back to the Future. So yeah, I definitely agree with that. Ooh, that'd be cool if it if it like left a trail of fire. Yeah, I want that. That'd be, that was pretty sick. And we can do that trademark. Hey guys. What? Hey guys. Hey. It's um. It's almost working. Oh. <laughs> Why did you say almost? You're killing me. Cause <laughs> it's. There's just so many things I gotta I gotta do to make this work. So it's almost there. It's like, are you like running into an issue, or is it just like getting all the the code it's, there? It's just getting the code in. There. Okay. Okay. Give me this. Ugh. Okay. So key events. Are currently being mean to me. How bold. How bold. Um, let's see. So we died for a second there. <laughs> What else was there? Um, I've been going through. I've been going through all of the forums, and forum posts, and trying to get everything answered. But there's a lot of, a lot of stuff recently, which is really cool. So I've been going through that. I also soundtrack. Will is uh, definitely probably going to provide a lossless version. I think. Because he, he doesn't like compression at all. Oh yeah, he's, uh, he's tried to... Yeah, he really tries to not have any compression. <laughs> and it makes some files massive. Yeah, but who, no one likes compression. Well, actually, Unreal has built-in compression, so we can't avoid it. <laughs> yeah, DX, DX12 is a completely changed subject. DX12 in Windows 10 support is really... It has up. nothing to do with audio. It's up to... I'm answering questions. It's up to un, Unreal. Um, once they have it, we'll, we'll pretty much support it. <laughs> okay, so here's the current problem for me. How right. is... What's the easiest way to get input from the player controller to the other stuff. Well, you mean you could just show it as a benchmark and not just do the benchmark one without input. Screw that. Screw that, really? Know, it's gonna work, dude. Oh my god. I'm gonna do it in a level blueprint. Oh, like, you're asking are like you, that. Are you almost ready, Zach? Cause... I mean, technically I'm, you should do it in the... Uh... I'm almost ready. It, like, literally works. I just need to get this last bit done. All just right. make it as, a like, a pawn they possess. Cause I don't have much else to say on the stream right now. I guess that'd be no, the same right more way. stuff. I don't have anything else. <laughs> Answer talk questions. About, talk about how amazing everything is and and how we're super grateful and. Oh, I added VSync to the graphic settings like, twenty seconds ago. Oh yeah, VSync's nice. Pretty pretty crazy, right? Woo. You have to. I think you have to turn off VSync for Oculus to or toggle back on. Oh no, you need VSync for it, right? I don't know which direction it is. Pretty sure I'm gonna have it as a toggle the, though, because some some people hate the VSync. Some people hate VSync with Oculus. Some people hate and, and and can't live without it. So, I noticed there this this stutter um with the Oculus that someone reported. Um, I think I know. That's that's mostly FPS. 
No, I so. know the I know the cause of that though. I think, um, just means we gotta optimize. It's FPS. It really is. That's what that is. Well, I mean, like when you turn your head really quickly, uh, yeah. Unreal has that real time occlusion stuff. We'll and have to turn that, it off for Oculus. That, mm, or, 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 or or work with me here. Or we optimize it. True. Right. Right. All right, fellas. Yeah, we got a lot of optimization. To do. We have so much. We have done very little. There's a lot we can optimize. So much we can optimize. I'm so happy that we can optimize. Oh, come on, Unreal. Did it I crash? I was so close. I was so close. Did it crash? It crashed. No. I was literally oh my one, god. One no. step away. I guess saved, swap. right? Yeah, I did. All right. Dude, I save. I save religiously, like every, every damn second. Okay, I need to swap the red and green, or sorry, the red and blue channels here. That's one problem I need to fix. The color wrong? Yeah, the color's wrong. That's what happens when you try to come across pixel format. Um, like... I think what we should do is we should. Take I think you should get ready to switch to my machine because I'm not sure oh. how long this is gonna work. <laughs> oh. What do you mean? Can uh, we switch over to your screen now? Not yet. Not yet. It's not just a sec. It's like right almost there. Uh, I'll answer that question, I guess. Uh, documents on detailing how the servers will work. Uh, I'll close that because it's loud. Um, I don't have any documents or ETA on that yet. That will probably come later towards the end of development when we actually like have more uh, alpha tests and can work with people on that stuff. So that'll be something that will just take, that'll be over time. So I won't be able to answer all of that. Um, and then with the physical goods store, that I don't know yet. It'll just happen when it happens, honestly, with that one. Because it will just, it'll just be up to us when we like can get it up and running. And then we'll just launch it and we'll post an update. So. Um, there was no real estimate on that, because I think we're going to be focusing on the game for the whole entire time, so we won't be able to do the physical store until probably after. So, I mean, it'll be a while before that happens, because we're kind of stretched a little bit in that area. We don't, um, we don't want to overwork ourselves on something that will affect the game, game development at all. Let's see. Uh, another question was, yeah, the the be non-human player models. Yeah. Have you talked to Digi recently? No, not yet. Oh, okay. we, have a, we, we have someone working on a dinosaur. Bring back that uh, dinosaur. Ready. It's sick. I think it? you I think I'm you ready. ready. All right, I haven't even. No one has seen this. This is a first showing. This is literally. Uh, I'm actually. I'm gonna watch it directly off of the. Uh... The first go. Uh, let me All switch right. to it. All right, you're on the hangout now. Okay, hang on. Let me turn on the screen. All right. So, it's my turn now. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, uh, this nerd. <laughs> so, what I've been working on for the last week is an API that we can use to make our kid games and then put them in Unreal. So I made a simple test arcade game and Mac provided some assets for me. And here's a demo of it running in a editor application here. You're not so, gonna do Poo Brain? No, I'm not doing Poo Brain yet. Oh. Do it later. All right, so I gotta run in there. It's like, oh yeah, you know, it's fine. You run it in its own thing. But then what I did was I made it an API that you can embed in Unreal. So when you play in Unreal, after it caches all the items. <laughs> Good luck waiting another 10 seconds. Do, 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 do. I need to fix this so it doesn't Oh take man, so this long. is, oh, here we go. You can play it. Oh, you know, real in the in the game. That is sick. And this is all uh, Lua based, so it's a very simple API. 
Uh, anyone can pick it up. It writes it. It basically packages up all the content in a package file that can be loaded in Unreal. So we can make this like workshopable. And then uh, people can upload their own arcade machines on Workshop. And I'm getting overrun with baddies. <laughs> And um, no. if you want to explain, like, the actual tech behind it, how it's, like, running on a, a different thread and doing some crazy, oh, yeah. crazy poop. Oh, uh, technology talk, yeah. Uh, it uh, is so, okay, I love this. I love okay. it. Okay, so what's happening is the arcade game itself is running in a windowless open jail context that it does all the rendering to, and then it takes that and copies it to an image and then uploads it to a U texture in Unreal, and Unreal can display it. It also has a little virtual machine that Unreal uh, sends keyboard inputs and stuff to, and uh, it basically lets you um, control it in the game loop. And the blueprint I rigged up for this is really, really simple, assuming it loads, because my computer is being a little unstable at the moment, probably because I'm streaming on Google and all that stuff. <clears throat> but uh, you can select the package that you want to load, which is in this case Space Shooter, and then uh, you just update and advance the frame, and then uh, through the level blueprint, which I'm using right now, uh, I can just report inputs to the uh, virtual machine, and then it will uh, do it. So that's that's been my week, uh, is making this this whole architecture here. This is my arcade system. Uh, there's a lot of pieces to it, but <laughs> basically it has, it, it packs all the assets into that package and then it renders them all and does it all inside the API. And then all you need to do is just ask it for a frame buffer and it gives you one. And uh, yeah, we plan to uh, leverage this to make arcade machines a thing and have all kinds of different arcade games you can play. That is sick. And just a reminder, none of us saw that before now. <laughs> I mean, we saw the uh, the arcade framework, but not actually it being an Unreal, which is pretty, pretty freaking crazy. Yep. And if you guys want to know what I was just doing, I was writing uh, the arcade instance system here, which is an actor that you can spawn in Unreal, and then it creates uh, the frame buffer and links it to the, uh, to the game instance. And I was also working on this arcade API in here and exposing it to Unreal. Uh, at one point, there was a bug with my file I/O system, so I quickly commented it out and slapped in uh, this basic uh, ceiling uh, I/O because I just needed it to work. But I'll probably use Unreal's I/O system uh, once I get it figured out. Yep. So yeah, arcade system. There it is. Do you wanna? Uh, Shit. Do you wanna? Do you wanna break it to them hard about the emulators? Oh yeah. Um. At one point, uh, let me find it here because I have a video of it. Uh, yeah, I got some pictures. I feel of like it. if we don't answer this up front, uh, yeah. they'll just keep asking. Yeah, I did an experiment a little while ago of a Super Nintendo emulator. And I had it mostly working in the game. Uh, but after some discussion, we decided that there's no legal way that we could do this. So I instead opted for writing my own kind of emulation system where we can make our own arcade games and open it up to the community to let them make whatever they want. And, wink, uh, wink. <sighs> no, wink, wink. <laughs> Yeah, I don't expect anyone to write a SNES emulator in the uh, That would be disastrous <laughs> and terrible, and I don't recommend it. Yeah, so, I mean, I, the, the answer to the question about that stuff, just so everyone knows. We, we did emulators, but we can't do it in the game. So, hopefully that should keep people not asking us that question, because we would really like to do it, but we can't because of legal reasons. Yeah, we, we Nintendo would probably get on our asses pretty quick. We're like, hey, I noticed you guys made a game where you can play all our games for free. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we can't do that. But this 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 uh, API that I'm working on is going to really open up a lot of possibilities uh, for a lot of community created content. And, Hello. Uh, oh, hey. this is a stream, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it's yeah. A, stre a stream zone. Yes, yes, Stefan. Uh -oh. All right, now you're on the spot. Favorite color? Go. Uh, uh, purple. Leave this call. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. No one wants someone like that. I'm a developer. I'm allowed to be here. You're not allowed to have a favorite color purple, though. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap up the stream, I guess. So. Yeah. Uh, so to continue what I was saying before Stefan barged in here. Um, yeah. How do I look at the stream? I'm on our page. Okay. I'll link it to you. All right, sorry. <laughs> I'll be quiet. So, yeah. I hope that... Uh, once this is more polished, that uh, will be that we'll do some sort of workshop stuff with it, and then uh, make. I want to make the API as simple and easy to use as possible. Right now, it's a little crazy, um, but I plan to uh, release the tool early at some point and just give it to people and have them start making arcade games right right away, and then um, we'll make a way to workshop uh, those package files and then put them into the uh, into tower yeah I was thinking about doing like cartridges that people could uh, be able to have like a console like type of thing and you could stick the cartridge in play it on yeah. condo TV that'd be pretty cool too so uh, that's that's pretty much what I worked on this week uh, sort of as a side project um, if you want to see just how much as a was... side project <laughs> Yeah, well, I've been working on it pretty much the entire week, just doing <laughs> doing all this stuff. Uh, so yeah, Arcade Game Maker. I will be releasing the first alpha of this tool uh, very soon, probably in the next couple of days once I get it kind of stabilized. And then uh, I'll just have people go at it and make some neat games. Yep, it's really cool. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Uh, if you guys have right. any further questions, go ahead and go to our forums on forums.pixeltailgames.com. Uh, we'll be there to answer any questions. And uh, Yeah, so it's been a crazy week. Uh, thank you all for supporting us, and we can't wait to just keep making this game for you guys. Uh, we'll have more weekly streams. Uh, we'll post a schedule uh, again. I think we'll probably stick to the whole every Saturday, and then... Uh, that's a good like uh, time for all of us to do that but should it change we'll let you know uh, but thanks for coming in the stream and uh, we'll see you next time yeah see you later guys I love bye. you bye bye <laughs>